Hi everybody, my name is Ken Fox and I am in fact a game producer uh, here to prove to you that our new product ReadyMatch is actually easy enough for a game producer to use it. Uh, so you'll need a multiplayer game to use matchmaking. Uh, here I have a version of Angry Bots which we have modified to make it multiplayer. Uh, if I hit play on this you will see that uh, in just a moment that I have a space to enter my name but no way to find people to play with. So let's go ahead and fix that. Okay, so here's what you'll see when you purchase the Field Kit Ready Match component from the Unity Asset Store. Go ahead and import all of this. And once that's imported, you'll see that you have this Field Kit folder in your project and you will see that up in scripts under ready match you have something in the menu. So I'm going to select my main camera, go up to scripts ready match and you'll see that over here that applies ready match to my main camera object all of these settings work. You can adjust them if you like, but they work as is. The only thing that's missing is an application ID. So to get my application ID, I'm going to go to fieldkit.poweredbygamespy.com and log in. If you don't have an account here already, you'll need to make one. That's pretty simple. So I'm going to log in, and it's going to ask me to, to add a game to my games list. I'm going to do that. Now you'll see that my... Uh, Ready Match is available as a service to activate for my game. I'm going to hit activate and it's going to ask me for my receipt code. This is what would have gotten emailed to me uh, when I purchased the asset off of the Unity Asset Store. I'm going to use a test one that you guys won't be able to see. And there you go. There's my application key. So I'm going to cut and paste this into the application ID field in the Unity component. And I'm also going to real quick paste that in an IM to one of our engineers so that I have somebody to play with. So he is going to put that into his game, hit matchmaking as well, so that when I hit matchmaking, I can show you guys how it works. Hit play, and you'll see here, in addition to the place for my name of my player, I have a start button. If I hit that, it's going to do a very quick matchmaking, and here I am playing multiplayer Angry Bots with somebody else in the office. 